Good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Seifer, and I'm here today to show you how to build the Super Smoker. All right, well, I'm an inventor. I do a lot of different crazy things. I like to come up with new ideas all the time. Fortunately, a lot of my ideas take time and money to really, you know, get going or even build a bro prototype. But in this case, I came up with something and kind of had a vision. I thought, you know what, I can't patent it, I can't really sell it, I could, but why not just share it with everybody so they can build their own. So, this is an inexpensive way to make a super smoker. I'm going to go ahead and get started on showing you how and what you'll need. Um, basically, the unit you can pick up at Walmart for like 49 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever, or you can go down to any thrift store and you can pick it up there for probably five or ten bucks. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what it is, and I'm going to show you how I built mine, and then you can go ahead and get yours. We're going to go ahead and get mine fired up today and start doing some smoking. So here we go. Are you ready to see it? All right, here it is. This here is your average everyday toilet cap. What we've done here is I put some uh, pretty heated. Uh, fuel in there to get this thing going. Um, I wanted to burn out any chemical from the paint or anything else. Plus I wanted to see the integrity of how, how much heat this thing might withstand. Um, a lot so far. So what I did is I just drilled some holes in the bottom here. And I got myself a kit, I don't know, 12, nine, nine holes or whatever. Bet myself a screen and I just slide right in here. Okay. Now, I went to Walmart and I decided to buy myself a little barbecue kit. So, I got this thing here for like four bucks. It's got a nice pan that I can soak my chips in. It's got some that I can lay for racks. Um, up here, what I've done is I've got some poles that I've cut that go across here so I can hang my meat on. And on this one, I've got this set up for uh, smoking my fish um, and whatever else I need. Plenty of room, as you can see, i got three drawers. Alright, so that's the million dollar, dollar idea I'm giving up here. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and plug my thermometer in here. I'm going to drill a hole right back here behind the shelf. That way all the heat and the smoke and whatnot is coming up. And then it should hit my thermometer before it goes out my exhaust. So I'm going to go ahead and get the charcoal in here, get it all fired up, and we'll light it and get it going, see how it looks. I'll be back. Okay, so we've got our coals in the fire. We've got some lighter fluid on there, and even on a day like this, it's going to be easy to smoke because I just slide the drawer in and there is no wind. All right, I got my thermometer in there. And we're gonna go ahead, if I have my lighter, give this thing a quick light. Maybe not so quick, huh? I think I let my gas sit too long. There we go, let's see. Slide that in a little bit. Here, I said the wind won't affect us, I can't even get it lit. Alright, so, a little bit more fluid here, back here. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Ah. Okay. So while this is firing up, um, I can leave the drawer open or I can slide it in, depends on how bad the wind is. Right now I'll just leave it open and let it burn off a little bit. So I've got my pan here ready for some, some chips. And uh, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and get the, let the fire burn down, put my chips on. Obviously, I'll grab my meat and I'll show you that part, we'll put it on the racks, get it in there. And then uh, we'll start smoking. Cool, I'll be back. All right, well, let's see where we're at. Our temperature is 
kind of hanging in there. Um, let's see what the colts are like. getting there we might air them up a little bit get some air on those but they're they're cooking nicely so what we're gonna do is start getting our meats ready start getting them on racks here and uh, getting them in the oven here but uh, still want to let that go for a little bit then we'll throw our chips on there um, I think I'm using applewood today let's see what we got nope we're going with the mesquite so um, Here's what we got for meats. I decided to go with a couple different kinds, so not, not a whole selection, but here we go. We've got some venison. This here is the back area of the loin, and I think some neck meat. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the crap out of that. I got some skewers to put it on. Made these out of some steel rods, poked through, and then just set right up on those nice grooves that are already built for me in the, in the rack. Um, these here, I'm just going to straight put on uh, a flat rack, a grill. That's a whole barbecue grill that I'm, I just kind of laid on an angle. I'm going to lay those out and let those smoke. This here is some fresh uh, Topaz Lake trout that I've been marinating. Uh, this has got, what have we got in here? This one's got honey. It's got, uh, uh, gosh. I can't even think right now. So it's been marinating for three days. It's uh, grape oil. Uh, we got the scampi seasoning and garlic. Um, this here was a roast that's been already cooked. Um, so it was marinated in whatever you marinate your roast in. Um, this marinade here, we've got a black cherry with, uh, gosh, what is it? It's a... Uh, hot chili oil and uh, pretty much the whole kitchen sink there but uh, we'll go ahead and see what those get up, look like or taste like when we're all done so like I said I'm just gonna wait for this to cook off a little bit uh, once that gets down to coals I'll go ahead and throw my smoking chips on get my meats on the rack and then uh, we'll check in and see how it looks okay so Went ahead and got all our meat on the racks. Go ahead and file that one. And got our fish and our meat on this rack. Go ahead and file that one. Leave that one cracked a little bit. And go ahead and throw some chips on here. Get some more going on here. All right, so I'm just gonna start lightly for now. Close this up and let it get heated up. So, got okay. spikies on the edge here. Probably want to see what I'm doing, not not the stupid looks on my face here. All right. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna go ahead and just let this puppy. Uh, Heat on up and get this thing smoking. All right, so that one's sealed. So to keep the air flowing, we're gonna go ahead and give that a crack for now. And uh, that's about it. That's that's the super smoker. And uh, this should climb up at least to 200 on this, but right now it's showing it's cold outside. Um, but rain, sleet, snow, wind, it's a smoking. Not too hard to do. Um, I guess uh, good luck with your smoker. I hope you have many great meals. Um, again, my name is Dan. Couldn't sell the idea, so I thought I'd share it with the world and uh, Go make your own and happy smoking.